my name is Joke. Uh, I'm here to get uh, some shorter hair. What it's gonna be is a surprise, I think. So yeah. Let's watch. And we're going to change your color a bit. Yes. It's a long time since we did that. And I think it's been three years. Yeah. So that's something news like that. But you, they can find you on YouTube. Yeah. They because can. you're still there in the past. Will you turn so they can see how your hair has grown since the last time? Of course. Can you put some photos in? Because uh, it's growing very fast. It is. Okay, let's start. Hello friends on YouTube, Colin the Yogi is here again. And I wish you the best for New Year because uh, it's now the second of the new month of the new year. So all the best wishes for a new year. Who is that? <laughs> it's a strange noise. Start of course with protection, like I always do. And she wanted a black cape, so I'm going to give her a black cape. The nice thing of this cape is it has a rubber band, so it seals the neckline very nicely, but with the paper is even better. Start by wetting. Start with a conditional spray. Because it makes uh, the moist into the hair easier to hold. It makes cutting and much, much nicer to do. Starting in the neckline, going to make use of the natural uh, shapes of the skull again. And I'm going to tell you why I do this. What you can see is from the left over of this hairstyle, the natural shape of a skull is laying about a calm thick on the inner lines. So there's a lot of weight hanging on this structure and these lines. Now I'm going to get more off and get a more natural line into the chin lines so I get a nice flowing pixie line and then I'm going to work with nice new colors. Starting in the neckline, part hairs on the skull bone, set them away with a clip. This is the first line we're going to work on because here I have a lot of weight into the hairs and I don't want that. I want to get rid of it. I'm going to work with uh, the Hot Race of Ergo. It's a wonderful tool from the United States. Take some hair over the center of the skull. Huh? Cut it all off. Uh, that would be something. In the summertime. <laughs> I think you will have a lot of fans when you would do this. What? To cut it all off. Go totally bald? No, yeah, you can go bald if you want to, but I don't think it's a hairstyle anymore. <laughs> no, it's not. So I think uh, ultra short is nice, but uh, totally bald is not a hairstyle. But I don't think it's gonna work for me. I have this. Thing. So <laughs> thing. You have a thing. Okay, E.T. Yeah, E.T. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, fake like E.T. Mm. Yeah, it's on bubble. Yeah, yeah, it's on bubble. I'll let it off. Nee, I'm going to get a little bit. That's not nice. What did you say? I have a little bit. And they ask me, what has he on your hand? You can get every time out of it. A thing. A thing, yeah. A thing, cold love. I just can't get it off. I can't get it off. <laughs> I can't get it off. Creating nice flowing lines. And I can see the difference between the long hair on this side. I want to set her a bit to the side. And the nice short lines on the skull lines. So this is diff different in length. So this is about one half, two centimeters, this uh, four, five. So there's a lot of hair coming off. Now turn it so you can get to the other lines. Take a parting line in the line of the skull lines. 
take it over to the center line and just work my line into the skull lines and into the necklines. Working in between. I need uh, the water to support the heat into the hairs. So mooi hoe je met je gear zeg maar altijd een klein stapje dichterbij dichter, komt. Ja. Ja. Als je dan kijkt waar je allemaal al gekomen bent sinds je begonnen. Ja, zeker, dat is best ver. Dan heb ik ook nog een camera. Je ontdekt je iets meer. Ja, en je groeit en dan heb je andere spullen nodig voor wat je nou wil. Dan ga je daarvoor sparen. En dan... Als ik eentje wil tekenen, de line of de skull lines. Een line up. Lay it over the line of cutting. Set the hairs aside. Go in on the skull bone. Pulling the hair and then shaping them into the roundings of the skull. Just following the natural lines. Yeah. Ruik lekker, wat je ooit is brand. <laughs> well, that we you know me. <laughs> Talking about the ears. She don't want to burn the ears. I don't hit the ears. No. Stay away from them. And how do you know it smells so good? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but women mostly do smell good. Yeah. But I never eat one. <laughs> I stayed, I let it stay that way. <laughs> Must be very hungry to do that. I really hate the person I eat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never will do this. So nice that I now have to look at it. Yeah. Therapy, eh? Ik moet iemand helemaal bedacht welke patroontjes daar moeten ja, komen en dat hebben we ingeprogrammeerd. Ja, dat is wel leuk. Ja. De volgorde dus ook. Oké. Nu je kunt zien hoe wonderful de rounding zal zijn. Want nu kun je de shape dat het in zit. Dus nu heb ik minder gewicht onder de skull, maar ook veel have a lot of volume on the back. Maar ik take away de gewicht van deze lijn. So now I can work up to the upper lines. Wetting in between. Take the hairs over the rounding. Holding some length on top. First line I take on the center line. Laid in the rounding of the skull. Second line, I pull a little bit more straight down. And then I'm going to work to the front. Because I don't need that weight behind the ears. And you see how wonderful you can shape with a hot razor. You're the creator of your own work, so that's why I love to play with this tool. Can the first line take it on the center line? In the center, I work it down. Then I come in the midsection, I take it straight down and to the front, take them up to the front. I take away the weight. So I have a nice flowing line. 
natural in the runnings of a wonderful skull. Do the same on the other side. Yeah. Take the hairs over to the other side. Watch at the roundings. Work till I get in the midsection. That's this section. Take the hair straight down. And on to the back. For you the back, for me the front. Take the hairs to the front. Lay them in the rounding. And find that beautiful shape of our skull again. So now I have a wonderful shape in this rounding. So it will be a pixie and a wonderful one also. Going to the front, starting on her right side. How do you define a pixie? Yeah, I don't know. It's not my idea to give it the name. Smart. No. It was Pixie. <laughs> pixie called it the Pixie. Right. <laughs> Going to the short line on front. Take myself a line about a centimeter in front of the ears. Set the rest hairs aside. This is really pretty. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it does. Shape myself a line over the ears, holding it on the ears because I think uh, this is more nice to wear. I'm certain in springtime we'll go ultra ultra short. And now we stay a little bit longer. Just to give it also that feminine feeling. My first line. Second line. Take the hands up. Go in. And lay it in the roundings. to the front and just shape the lines. Take every time a bit off so you get a nice soft flow in all the lines. And in between I just I adjust my lines. It's well me, it's the film in New Year. Nice. It's like when the haircut in the new year. Yeah. It's a good basic. Yeah. So now I have a wonderful line. So now I can go to the other side. <laughs> Little bit. Yeah. Now the same I do on this side. Put the longer hair on top to the sides. Do this over the fall of the skull. Get in the under hairs. Starting in the back and just shape hair off.
The nice thing is working with uh, a hot razor is that the hairs will be sealed for more than four months. So if she wants to grow the hairs, she can wait for four to five months before she gets a haircut. But then she will never have ultra short hair. <laughs> and will have long hair in summertime. <laughs> That's not the purpose of this. No. The feel good of short hair in summertime. Yeah, well, in winter it can feel good as well. Oh, yes. So you just have to wear a hat sometimes. Okay? <coughs> oh, tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mother made me a very big rabbit hat. Okay, so, nice. With, with ears and stuff, so I'd like to wear that. Yeah. Yeah, looks a bit weird, but it's fun. It doesn't matter as long as they don't shoot you when you walk into the woods. Uh, I have to be careful of that. <laughs> also on this side the lady has almost half the ears. Take a bit, a bit of the weight behind the ears. Also by shaping, just shaping it up. And just lay it every time into the runnings. And this will lay into the chin line. So I watch the chin line, adopt this line into my cutting line, take the hairs to the back, and work longer hairs on the back into the line of cutting. So I have two lines on this line. You see them laying. The first line is laying here, the second line is laying there. Take a new centimeter on it. Now I start in the back because I can see my line of cutting. Lay all the longer hair off the top into the roundings. Then pull the hairs to the back. Find myself the cutting line. to the hairs that lay over the center line of the skull. Again, start in the back. Creating a nice rounding into the hairs. Just letting them flow into the underlines. So I don't have overweight or volume on the back. Pull the hairs to the back. Going to the chin line again. Above the ear, I make it more playable. Just go in with the tip of my knife. Just take away a bit of the weight because she has a lot of hair. Lay the hairs to the front. Only the tip again. So now I'm certain that I don't have too much weight laying on this line. Also do is take this line to the back, lay it on the hairs of cutting, just to control where my lines are. So if she wants to wear it a bit boyish, if she can, and you see it's possible to wear it boyish because 
all the lines flow into the lines. You, know, you see you have a natural fall into the hairs with a natural line. So she can wear it even in a boy's hairstyle. Going to the top. Now coming on top. Take the hairs up. Go into a center line. And just jump the length. I can do this even with a hot knife because the hairs are wet so I don't burn my fingers. Work like a clock. Take every type apart and then follow the roundings of the skull like I always do because I love to follow the lines. Watch at the fall. Take the hairs over to the short side. Lay them on her face and now I adopt the line that I did on the other side also on this side so the chin line I'll take also on this side so I'm certain that I have all the natural lines into her hairstyle Like I did on the other side, in the other lines, with a tip, I make it just a little bit playable. So now I have a wonderful pixie hairstyle that can be worn as a boy's hairstyle, but also very feminine, asymmetric, and symmetric. So now I can make a color. Okay, made to a color, made the color of uh, Lacme. It's a gloss, it's with uh, one half percent, that's uh, five volume, and the gloss is a, is a toner coloring. It's ammonia free, pyrobane free. And we took a copper tone because she loves copper tones. And this apply. On the top, it's uh, 749. And in the underlines, I apply on this same product a bit 4 slash 0, and that's a brown, so I get a deeper underlines. And a much cooler shape. <laughs> In the rest over of this product, I put a little bit for zero, zero. You don't need a new activator for this. And already you can see what I parted. So in the other lines it will be a deeper color. And the nice thing of this product is if we want to go for blood for example uh, next time we can because this product never uh, has less leftovers in the hairs. So it's a wonderful product to color your hair with without having any rest products. How long will it stay in? No, that depends on how much you wash it. Mm -hmm. But if you wash it once, twice a week, it can stay to five weeks, six weeks, and oh. then it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's 
quite a long time. Yeah. And if you wash with uh, shampoo in Coraline, then it even stays longer. Yeah. So for example, if you take a copper uh, shampoo or flacne, mm -hmm. the color stays much, much longer. Yeah. This color, I come into the lines above, so I have no hard lines into this hairstyle, just flowing into each other, natural lines. This has to stay on for 20 minutes, so we go for tea or coffee, and you just wait, not 20 minutes, I believe. You can sus subscribe, of course, to my channel if you want to, then you see all the latest updates. And there will be something new in the new year, there will be also girls who work at uh, my salon into my channel. Close this up and then wait for 20 minutes. Now I get my lunches again. Now I get my lunches again. Why? Because I don't have it. Oh, I don't have it. Back from coloring. So now I'm going to dry her hair. From what may I take a shape? Take a medium brush and I take my Kiona uh, dryer. Echt alleen nooit zo mooi als jij, dat het zo mooi en mooi als je. We goed oefenen. Ja, maar ik ben niet zo steun voor zo. So far, blow drying. Yeah. He filmed nog niet, toch? Huh? He had the whole Yeah? Oh, don't I see that he had it set. No, yeah. But I set it toch niet alles in. No, I snap it. Klein, a bit klein. Oh, this is a So bad. Five. Can I use uh, from Keune a five? It's a shaper. Just applying it with my fingers. And the rest over, I just use on top. Now I don't want to make it stiff, so I leave it as natural as I can. Also because I think it suits her better. Now I thank her for being my mother. I thank you for watching the first video in 2020. And she will turn so you see the end result. But, uh, and thank you for modeling. No problem. It's always a pleasure. Always. Make some photos. Yeah. Hello, my name is Joke. Uh, I'm here to get uh, some shorter hair. What it's gonna be is a surprise, I think. So. Yeah. Let's watch. And we're going to change your color a bit. Yes. It's a long time since we did that. Uh, I think it's been three years. Yeah. So that's something new as like well. that. But she, they can find you on YouTube. Yeah. They because can. you're still there in the past. Will you turn so they can see how your hair has grown since the last time? Of course. I can even put some photos in because uh, it's growing very fast. It is. <laughs> 